you can see out there at the moment, but these trains are quick. Hi everyone, this is Reese's Trains and today you join me down south here in London um, in St Pancras International. We're going to try a new train operator and train type that I've not been on in person yet. I have ridden this train in Train Simulator before and Train Sim World 4 but we're going to try South Eastern's Class 395 Javelin. So I'm just walking through the um, check-in area for the Eurostar services that go into Europe but I think it's really busy here at St Pancras today, um, so not surprising with it being London though, but yeah, up. Oh, I could just hear a, um, a Eurostar service setting up, I think, for Europe. So yeah, let's get a move on. I haven't got a lot of time, so we'll go find the train. Right, so the train we're going to be getting is the 1237 South Eastern service to Margate, so, but we're going as far as Ashford International today, so let's go on the train right away and let's go. Right, so here's our train, it is. 395025, Britain's fastest. Let's board the train and see what it's like. Let's get on board. Whoa, look at the interior of this train, it's really nice. Wow, I'm already a fan of this train. Let's go down a few carriages, see if we can get a seat. It looks like it is a busy service, but we'll see. I've wandered down the train. Interior looking very smart. Right, so I only just managed to get a seat and look at the interior, unrefurbed or refurbed, it is really nice. I'm liking the interior, and even though it's 15 years old at this point, it's still really nice inside the interior. I mean, look at it, it looks very nice. So, yeah, I agree with this train, yeah, it looks really good. Okay, we're just leaving, we're leaving St Pancras now, so um, we're going to be going through a number of tunnels. We're stopping at Stratford, Epsley, and then getting off at Ashford in about 40 minutes time. So yeah, I'm going to sit back now, enjoy this high speed ride on my first ever javelin in real life. We're in the tunnel, so it's going to be a 140 mile an hour smooth ride over until we get to um, accelerating now. So. Should be a 140 mile an hour run to Stratford now. There's not much you can see out there at the moment, but these trains are quick. And here's Stratford. We are off back into the tunnel in a moment. And here we go. So as we're pulling away then, let's have a look at the um, interior of the Javelin. So you've got table seats, you've got seat reservations. The seat's actually pretty comfy. You've also got charging points underneath the seats. So. Yeah, these trains are really comfy. The seat alignment's mostly fine. It's really smooth as well. You know, it's loud but smooth. But yeah, this, these trains are just so nice. I like them. Right, so we just exited the tunnel. We're now travelling along at speed, along high speed one. Nice bridge there. I've got to say, this is the fastest speed that I've ever been in a car or a train. 140 miles an hour. This is, this is sick. It doesn't feel like I'm in the but yeah, I'm not used to it. <laughs> and we're just pulling into Epsfleet International. Well, it started raining a little bit, so kind of was expecting it to rain down here a little bit. Here's Epsfleet. away from the split it has started raining. Whoa, pretty view. Right, 
Okay, so as we're slowly approaching Ashford, what are my thoughts on this unrefurb javelin? Well, I am really impressed with the train. For some reason, it doesn't feel like a like you know a prop high speed train, you know, because the vestibules normally have doors in between them, like on the LNAR, I'm zooming with the Avanti West Coast services. But 140 miles an hour, a domestic train. This is strange. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the train. They're comfortable, uh, nice lighting, very well lit, good information screens and all that. So. Yeah, definitely very impressed with um, this type of train, so, and we'll look forward to hopefully riding them on them again soon, so, massive thumbs up for me with the Javelins, one of my favourite type of trains on the UK network. There goes this South Eastern High Speed Javelin, 395025. And there it goes for Margate. Right, so we have made it to Ashford International. So, staff on that train was so lovely. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna see if I can get a refurb javelin on the trip back. Right, so we're gonna get the St Pancras International, see if it's a refurbed one or not. Right, let's see if this one is a refurbed or unrefurbed javelin. St Pancras International, 395, 07. It's refurbed, yes. There we go. Let's get on board and have a look at it. Let these people off. I was a lot getting off this, that might help with space. That was a lot getting off here. Cool. So, we have coloured doors here, which looks nice. Blue doors. And we have got a seat. Lovely. Right, so I'm happy we've got a refurbished javelin. So now we can have a look at this javelin to see what's different compared to the unrefurbed javelin. So... Let's have a look at the interior and see what's different. So the interior is pretty much the same, except you've got LED lighting here now. Um, the seats are pretty much the same. You've got new carpet down here, which is looking really nice. As I mentioned before, the doors are painted blue. New seat covers. Um, and this screen is going to be getting changed. And you've got these seat reservations as per the older javelin. As you can see, unfortunately, it is raining out there now, which is not ideal. Going on the M2 motorway here. I'm Reese's Trains and today for the first time I have been on a class 395 high speed javelin. After you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh thank you.
Right, just come off 395007 and I've got to admit, admit I've met some lovely people today on that train. Really friendly and the positivity again, just like with 331107 up north, it's happened on the javelin. So yeah, oh, I'm so happy. So, so happy I finally got to ride a javelin over riding it in train sim for a lot of years. So yeah, I'm very happy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, feel free to give me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you're interested to see new content and thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.